all welcome to our channel i hope you are doing well today we are going to discuss about another important aspect of your mobile development and what are the best practices we should do so that our mobile app is more and more user friendly and it is more and more optimized so in one of that series we have server driven ui you must have heard about the developers about the team it's talking about like server driven uis like how you have implemented so this is one of the best way like what you can do in your app enhancement server driven ui is basically a technique through which you can control the ui of your app okay so and this ui of the app will be controlled or will be like drawn with the help of the json response that you will be getting from any of your api like any of your back end api that could be either graph ql or that could be even rest api so in any of the way you can get your json so what happens like what is the basic use like you would be saying hey yeah, i have the figma i have everything why do i need the server driven ui so let's say like some day you have a basic app and this is your basic app and you want to show like the users like let's say there is this is a kind of a e-commerce app so what you have you have some flash sales that are going on from let's say 12 am in the morning till 11 30 am so for these 30 minutes you want like few of the things on your ui to be appeared that are relevant during this time only so what you can do you let's say you have you want to show a browser over here in your app okay so what you can have this you can have this feature flagging i told you there is one more thing that is known as feature flagging that helps our app development more and more fast steady and for debugging and for more and more optimization so you have a feature flag let's say for your server driven ui and that also tells us like you have to display a carousel over here that will tell you about the details of this flash sale that is going on so what you have when you have your let's say feature flag as on so in your server driven you got your json response and in that response you have the details like what type of the ui you want to show and what inside the ui you have like you what title you have what is the color of that title and what is the background color or what is the background color what is the foreground color of the title and then you can have like when we will click if that click title is of kind of a hyperlink then where we will navigate these all details okay it you can say these are functionalities are being held in this json only and when you have this json encoding and decoding done in your app so you will get the things so you will say hey how many details i can have in the json so basically you will have to have a contract with your backend developers so backend developers and your frontend developers have to come in a contract like okay i will send you these keys and these keys will mean the will be meaning this to you so in this way we have the json and then the backend developers provide us the JSONs and then we can have a frontend UI ready. And let's say if the sale has been there for 30 minutes, you show a browser and then you navigate inside the app wherever you want, you get these details from here. Like what will be the title of that browser, what will be the background color of that browser, what would be the foreground color of that browser, and what if the user clicks on that browser, what will happen. So you can have those things in your JSON okay this is how your server driven ui works this is a very small example of e-commerce you can have many other flat sales or you can have like let's say you have a finance app so there you can say you can show your ads of that like of your vehicle or of your any other finance features that you have you can show them depending upon your servers like sometimes you want to show in a carousel sometimes you want to show in a grid view so everything could be controlled with this json so I have made one of the JSON that will help you to get a clear understanding. So let's say this is my JSON and my JSON says title. So let's say I have a contract with the backend. Like if the key is title, it means that is a title of my entire page and I will give that. And then I have the item. So these items could be an array. And in this array, we will have an item type that will tell me like these are the keys if my type is carousel if i will do the back end uh, front end encoding and i will see okay it is if it is carousel so it means i have to show a carousel so and if it the type is lit it list it means i have to show a list so let's say if by chance back end sends list 
it is wrong because my contacts at l i s t not s another so here the decoding would be wrong so we have to be very peculiar without the decoding how it is going then the background color <coughs> sorry title and then the image if you want to display and let's say if your image is having some data like you have a title subtitle heading so you can explain this this is how you will be encoding your data and you would be showing so now you say like okay so this is the data i got so you have a position like where i have to show in my ui like browser will be coming first or the list will be coming first so you can have another attribute that will tell you like it says like here you can say position and then you can give it counting as one so it means like if the position is one it will be browser will be at the top and same you can do for your list also as well so here you can put position and now you have the flexibility you can make your browser at number two and your list at number one so this is the best way of your server driven so like let's say at one point when i was having a flash sale i want to make my list first and then my clausal okay no worries it is our positioning but next in server driven ui like let's say on the next day i want to make the user some change like it should appear like something has changed in the app i can make the position of this clausal as one and this as two so this is how with the data with the json api like we can have this control over our ui this is very dynamic we can have the control if you want you can change the background color this is extremely dynamic ui based upon the json data that we are getting that's why it's called server driven ui so this is how you have your json decoding and then you can do i have given you an overview glimpse like how things is working in server driven ui in the upcoming videos we will solve one of the real world example like using this json to decode and see like how exactly in the app it works but i just gave you a glimpse like how is this server driven ui concept is working behind and what is the server driven ui so you can in your resume you can say like okay i know about server driven ui this is also another practice of mobile enhancement as we have learned in the previous mobile development videos in practices there is feature flagging there is we have another that is known as analytics in that series we can have server driven ui as well so that's it for this video do let me know how did you like this video and share me any feedback in the comment section if you have till then thank you so much for watching the video have a good day